What's up, Honor? So since you all enjoyed my video so much of checking out every store's best Halloween animatronics, today I want to continue on with that series. But instead of talking about every store's best animatronics, today we're going to talk about every store's worst. So of course, let's get started. And welcome back to the channel, everyone. Of course, as always, we're going to be starting off with Spirit Halloween, which this year gave us a few really good animatronics, a lot of just all right ones, and then a couple that aren't really that good, so let's talk about those ones. So first of all, we've got Night Terror, which I don't want to talk about him too much because you all already know stuff about this guy, but honestly, it's the most hated prop this year, and I don't think it deserves all the hate, but it's definitely not one of Spirit's best items this year. I've seen a lot of videos of it just being such cheaply made that it breaks very often and just the build quality of it isn't good. I think it's more of a goofier animatronic that's alright for the price tag, but overall it's just a really faulty and just not as high quality animatronic. Another animatronic is of course Max Straw, which I love how he looks, I love the audio and everything, but he's just such a faulty prop that I think he deserves to be on this list. And why exactly is he so faulty? Well, if you've been to any Spirit Halloween this year, you've most likely seen him and at almost every store his head animation is broken. It's just very faulty, there's a good 90% chance that if you buy him, the head animation will either come broken or will break after a short period of time. I don't exactly know what's wrong with it, but this guy just has very bad quality, and even though it's a really cool one, I think that this really faulty feature definitely makes him not one of the best animatronics this year from Spirit. And one last one I want to talk about that's returning for this year is, of course, the Twitch and Banshee, and now this animatronic is alright, but there's a couple reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of it. One thing is, we've already seen this at so many stores. Of course, it was at Spirit back a while ago, and then it was also for wholesale, and even Costco had it. And another reason why is, I hate the audio on this. It's just so annoying how it just constantly goes off, and it's this just lame screaming audio. Overall, it's a decent animatronic, but just really unnecessary, and... That audio is not the greatest, so that's why it's going to be on today's list. And moving on to the next store, we've of course got Party City US, which this year has given us an awesome lineup of animatronics. I'm a really big fan of it. There's some really good ones, but also there's some ones that aren't as strong as others, so that's the ones we're going to talk about today. So of course, let's talk about the first one. So first of all, we've of course got Hack and Heidi, which this animatronic, I'm just going to say it's a really cool looking one. It's so realistic, I'd say. I love the face design on everything. It looks great. And overall, just the design of it's awesome. But the thing that makes me want to say that's not a great animatronic is just its animation. It's very unimpressive. It looks like it's going to be this like creepy jump scare where she has the axe and she's going to swing it towards you. But she slowly starts looking like she's going to swing it towards you. And then the climax is her just throwing it back behind her head, which is... Just really lame. It's not really that good of a jump scare, and I wish they would have made Swing forward. I know maybe there'd be some safety concerns if they did that, but they could have definitely built something into it to eliminate those safety concerns. But overall, this one is still a really creepy one, and I'd love to see them sort of change the design with it, where instead of the axe jump scare, maybe they'll do something else with it. But either way, for this year, it's definitely not the greatest. And then another one that I think is decent but a bit overrated is, of course, Rattles. So Rattles, don't get me wrong, it's a really cool decoration. It's this massive groundbreaker skeleton. But I'm just putting it on this list because even though it's cool, it's just such an overrated and overproduced animatronic. Basically, every store this year has some massive skeleton decoration, and they're all exactly the same to this. So even though this guy's cool, it's just such an overrated decoration, one that I don't think is one of the best ones out there. Anyways, moving on, another store that you know we gotta talk about. We've, of course, got Home Depot, which... This year is definitely the craziest year yet for Home Depot. They've given us a really good lineup and is honestly my favorite animatronic lineup out of any store. But even though they've got some good stuff, there's a couple that aren't that great, so let's talk about them. The first one I want to talk about is the new Vampire Jack animatronic. This one, again, is just such an unnecessary animatronic, I think. 
We already had Jack Skeleton from Jimmy that's been sold ever since around 2017. And for them to give him this Dracula outfit and to remove that mouth animation, I feel is just not something that's really worth doing. Now, I will say I do think that the new version looks decent, but I really love the mouth animation on the original one. And yeah, it's just such an unnecessary one. So that's why I'm putting it on today's list. Another animatronic from them that I'm not the biggest fan of this year is the Marionette Witch. Now, there's a couple of positives to it. I like how it's a cheaper animatronic at $100. And I like how it has some improvements over the Bobby Streams animatronic. Like, of course, the wooden piece at the top is actually a full mold plastic piece. And the support pull for her, they kind of changed it up a bit. But, of course, I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks. I think it looks a bit goofy. And it's not something I personally love. But still, it's a decent animatronic, but definitely not one of the best ones this year. And one last one I want to talk about from Home Depot is, of course, the new reskin of the Hovering Witch. This one, again, it's just another really unnecessary one. They didn't really do too much new to it. They just gave it this new black color scheme, which, honestly, I prefer the original purple version. It looks a whole lot better. new black version is all right, but definitely not as good. I think it's just a bit of a lamer version and something nobody really asked for, so... This is just another animatronic that I think deserves to be on this list. And moving on to the next store we're going to be talking about today, we of course have Canadian Tire slash Party City Canada, which this year has an awesome lineup of over 13 animatronics. And lots of them are pretty good, but there's a couple that aren't as good, so let's talk about them. Now the first guy here, of course, is the Jemmy Michael Myers. This guy's been sold the last few years and is just such a terrible version, I'd say, of a Michael Myers prop. I feel like Jemmy has really gone downhill with lots of their animatronics recently, and this is a good example of it. The audio is just not the best, and overall, I'm not a huge fan of the look of him. He's pretty expensive at $300 for only including one animation. Overall, just such a terrible animatronic and probably the worst one on today's list. And another one I want to talk about today is the 10-foot skeleton, which I kind of dislike for the same reasons as Rattles. I just feel like it's such an unnecessary one. Every single store this year has some version of this animatronic, whether it be a groundbreaker one or a massive 10-foot one. It's just such an overrated animatronic and one that I'm kind of sick of seeing at every store this year. And of course, there is a couple other ones from Canadian Time Party City this year that aren't the greatest. But of course, those two are definitely the worst ones from their lineup this year. And with all said, that of course is going to finish it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. This of course was episode 4 and for episode 5 of this series, it's going to be the same theme. We're going to talk about another 4 or 5 retailers and their worst animatronics. And then after that, for episode 6 and onwards, we'll talk about like every store's scariest animatronics or best jump scares. I don't know, I'll figure out something next, but hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on all these and if you have any other awesome video ideas for me. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.